Hello everybody. This is Priya Parthasarathi. Welcome to another episode of Demystifying Digital. First of all, thank you all for uh, giving excellent feedback about this video series on Demystifying Digital. The purpose of this video series is to ensure that everyone understands what digital marketing is and, and the various opportunities that digital marketing offers so individuals and businesses can make use of this amazing digital medium in an optimal way. Now on to this week's topic. Today, let's talk about generating leads via digital marketing. Lead generation is the process by which you identify prospects for your business to sell your products and services and nurture them and then convert them into paying customers. Lead generation is a commonly used term in the B2B segment where businesses sell to other businesses. For example, say you are a manufacturer of some machinery for the food processing industry. In the old world, what you would have done would be to have hired some salespeople, give them brochures and you know educate them on your products and send them out to go and meet food processing industries heads and then uh, try and explain about your products so that they would uh, consider you when they when it's time for them to buy some new machinery later on in the 90s when telephony became a big thing in india we started seeing the emergence of call centers sales people would just make cold calls they'd find phone numbers of their prospective uh, buyers make a cold call and try and tell them about the very many benefits of their products that actually continues even till date Although these methods have their own benefits, not to say that in the digital era, all of these are not relevant anymore. The digital era actually offers a lot more efficient and lot more uh, precise way of targeting your prospective buyers. I'll explain with examples. You might have heard about the sales funnel. A funnel is a, a conical structure where the top is very wide and then it goes, it tapers off into a narrower passageway. So, a sales funnel is essentially at the top are all the people, the white space are all the people in your target audience concentration. Now, when you move them down the sales funnel, that means you probably piqued their interest a little bit and they've shown some interest in knowing about your product. Then they become, they come to the next level of the funnel where there will be fewer people because not everybody is going to be interested in your product or service. Then, once they're slightly interested, then you tell them a little bit more, you engage with them more and then you move them move them down the sales funnel. Finally, towards uh, them becoming a customer, which, which by then the funnel would have become really narrow because here if you had 100 people in the, in the you know, prospective at the broad level, you might end up with three customers. So this is a sales funnel. Which essentially, digital marketing gives a very cost-effective way of moving people from the top of the funnel to the next level. That is getting their attention and then moving them on to a stage where they are considering your product. So the first part is where they are just prospects. Then they become slightly interested in you. Then they move down to, you know, have showing some interest in engaging with you and considering you. And then finally, they become customers. Uh, through digital marketing, you could also engage with the customer at the second level and then move them into the third level where you can get them to start talking to you, negotiating with them and engaging them on a more personal level so that they can become a customer. In the old world, a lot of time and energy and money was spent in moving people from the top level to the next level. One required a large number of salespeople in order to move a few people from the top level to the next level. Whereas in digital, it is possible to do this without engaging salespeople. So how do you do lead generation in the digital space? I had talked about search engine optimization by which people when they have a need and they come and search for a product or service that is similar to yours your website comes as a first few choices on a search engine uh, result so that they discover you that is a way of generating leads but there is a more direct way of generating leads that is through advertisements either a display ad in a google network or by doing social media advertising either on linkedin or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any of those channels. One important benefit of doing lead generation on the digital medium is it is unobtrusive for the prospect. Now, we all know of these call center operatives that call us at all times of the day. Uh, they call when you're having a meal, they call when you're watching an interesting drama on television 
or they call when you're having a conversation with your spouse they find the most inopportune times to give you a call and try and give you a loan or whatever right now if the same thing happens via the digital space while i'm sc- scrolling through my say social media feed i see an ad for that you know are you are you looking for a bank loan or something now if i were not looking for a bank loan i just scroll past that it doesn't annoy me that it is there it's just part it is there are a million things on my news feed and this is just ha- this happens to be one of it and uh, social media channels also ensure that they don't pack your news feed too much of these ad messages uh, that it irritates you their algorithm is des- designed in a way that these ads only appear once every few posts of that you see from your friends and people you follow so that it is not too uh, annoying if i am browsing on a website and an ad pops up on the side again if i am not interested i am not even going to look at it but if i am looking for a loan this might pick my curiosity similarly if i am looking to buy a home somewhere and i see a real estate ad i might be interested and say okay let me go and see what it is so i click on the ad and it takes me to a landing page it's called um, advertisements uh, lead generally lead to a landing page it should lead to a landing page it should not go to a general website of a business because a general website has so many things it may it is very difficult to focus the prospect's attention on what your uh, what you really intend selling so generally what advertisers do is they create a landing page which has all the details about the product or the service that they are trying to sell and a form is usually there where if the prospect is interested in knowing more about this business they will enter their name phone number and email id mostly so that somebody from your from the business can give them a call back to pursue this further so basically by sending them by showing them an ad and uh, catching their interest maybe with very catchy copy or attractive imagery or a very interesting um, video uh, ad or something you catch caught their interest and then move them from there into your website's landing page and you give them all the details that is necessary for them to form an opinion about your product or service and then you given them an opportunity to show that they are interested so they are entering their uh, details it is a voluntary action right where they enter their details now now they have gone from the top of the funnel to a couple of spaces down they are an interested prospect so now you can get your sales people to come into the picture talk to them and uh, negotiate with them and the usual sales process will happen in this method the second benefit is that you have complete control of what is the message that is being given to the prospect when you had sales people or these cold callers or from a call center you didn't have as much control over what is being said i have a son who's just joined a, an engineering course and uh, so i've been getting a lot of phone calls from uh, engineering colleges i'm sure the colleges have access to some kind of database of children who just written their 12th standard board exams and uh, one of the callers as soon as i picked up the call voice on the other end said what mark has your son gotten in uh, in 12th standard i was like who is this asking me about my son's marks uh, can you explain who you are and then she goes uh, i am calling from so and so uh, college of engineering uh, we could uh, offer your son a seat in our college so tell me what mark he got we'll see if uh, you know he qualifies <laughs> it was so ridiculous obviously whoever hired that girl never gave her a sales script to follow or even if they did she wasn't in a mood to follow and in today's world one bad review one bad remark anywhere on social media could have a rippling effect could have a, a viral effect for the business and could really spoil the reputation of some company if this kind of a sales call happened a lead generation mechanism on the digital channels you have complete control over what is being conveyed to the prospect because there is no uh, third party because there is no human element involved there coming to the third benefit this is the power that digital marketing gives you to do effective follow up sometimes prospective customers who look at your ad be interested come see your landing page and but leave for whatever reason we don't know maybe they got interrupted maybe uh, they weren't so impressed with the information or maybe you didn't answer all their questions in the first go so for whatever reason they've come they've seen and they've gone right now at this stage it is possible for you to install a cookie in the prospects 
browser. Digital channels offer you a method to target those people who once visited your site and left to show them these ads again and again. So the first time they see your ad, they maybe they came, saw and they left. The second time they see your ad, they're probably a little bit more curious. Maybe if you keep, you know, following them for a few more times and they've seen your ad like five, six times, then they might be convinced and come back and then give you their contact information. So this is a follow-up that is again unintrusive, a follow-up that is efficient because you don't leave anybody, you know, the people don't drop off the funnel. This happens a lot, dropping off of the funnel. So on the digital medium, it is possible to not allow that to happen. It is possible for you to target everybody and then keep them in the funnel itself. The next benefit, digital offers you various ways to have a conversation with them. It does not always have to be a person having a chat with them. WhatsApp chat bots are available where you could, uh, as soon as they leave a name or a number, you could initiate a WhatsApp conversation with them. Now that you have their email ID, you could send them an email with a lot more in-depth explanation of your products and service. Maybe you can send them testimonial videos. Just having their phone and email ID offers you very many ways of reaching out to them so that you can convince them further into becoming a paying customer. And the last but not the least benefit of uh, lead generation via digital marketing is cost. On digital marketing, one it's a one-time investment in a landing page and uh, designing an ad. And then the ads can run. You can run the same ad month after month and uh, keep generating uh, uh, leads, keep uh, moving people down from the top end of the funnel to the next level. The only con consistent expense for you would be the, the money you spend on placing the ad. The advertisements are called PPC, pay per click. So how these ads work is that the channel only charges you when somebody clicks on your ad. So as I said, if somebody is, you know, if somebody is not interested in a loan, they just scroll past the ad, you're not going to pay for that because they're not interested at all in your ad. They didn't click on it. But if they click on it, is the time you pay for it. So your costs are under control. So in summary, digital lead generation offers economical efficient way to target your prospects and move them down the sales funnel without losing any control over the message that the prospect is getting from you. I hope you have some understanding about how you can use digital channels for lead generation. If you'd like to have a consultation with me on how you could do this for your business, you can email me at priya at prequellab.com. That's all for this week. See you again in another episode of Demystifying Digital. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good week. Bye-bye.